understanding themselves. But to get into the meat of it, why am I creating this channel? Outstanding question that needs an outstanding answer. After all this time of me refusing to create something for women, to teach women, why am I doing it now? Let's start with the altruistic reasons first. There's about three reasons that I did. Let's start with the altruistic reason first. I don't believe women, especially women in the black community, know themselves. For the most part, there are a few. There are a few Gnostic women, daughters of light, that actually know themselves or partially know themselves. Far, few, far fewer women know themselves than men know themselves. Women don't have the same thirst for knowledge that men do. That would sound strange, but if you think about a man's role and a woman's role, they're completely different. Men reflect the light of God, and women reflect the immense material of the universe. The light of God creates through the material of the universe, and the universe procreates. So a man will create, recreate himself, and women seek to procreate themselves through a man. But that's going to be later on down the line. So men seek knowledge more than women do. And that entails that there is a lack of knowledge, especially on YouTube, especially amongst black women. There is a severe lack of teachers that are actually teaching women about themselves. They're not good coaches. Most black women on YouTube are not willing to tell black women the bare naked truth for obvious reasons. But we'll get into that. The second reason I'm actually doing this and creating this channel is out of curiosity. Can you teach women, black women especially, the cold naked truth and the language that it needs to be taught in that will hopefully give them the tools so they can make themselves better? Women don't accept criticism very well especially black women. So without both constructive and destructive criticism, the structure or the vessel cannot be built. If you have women walking around with faulty construction, you cannot construct anything on top of it. You need destructive criticism or destructive mechanism to tear down what is faulty and then constructive criticism to build up the structure into something that is more productive and adequate. That's something women do not understand. Men understand it. Men are far more accepting and tolerant to both constructive and destructive criticism it is what it is. Third reason, and this is the selfish reason is that me and my subs were tired of women invading male spaces and ear hustling and then hearing something that they don't like, get mad, and try to start a fight in our comment section. So most of my subs told me that since we have this constant stream of females, of women, black women, coming in and not liking what we're saying and continuing, continuing to come back and not like what we're saying means there's a lot of women out there, a lot of females out there that are here listening in the background. We'll get to why that is right after I finish this third reason. So my subs kept asking me to create a space for women to go. So maybe they wouldn't need to invade our space if they had a space of their own. Somehow I tend to doubt it. Women being nosy, as their nature tends to be, for obvious reasons, because women want to want male attention, for obvious reasons, and we'll we'll get into that sometime in a future video.